السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو لائیو عوید حسن اختر ویورز آر ٹوڈیز لیسن ریلیٹڈ ٹو کلاس ٹینتھ یونٹ نمبر ون وی آر آلریڈی کمپلیٹنگ ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ فور ان آر کانسنٹریشن ٹاپک از ریڈیکل لکویشنس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈیفائنڈ ان آر پریویس لیسن اٹس ڈیفینیشن ڈیفینیشن سیز دیٹ an equation involving expression under the radical sign is called a radical equation for example x plus 1 is equal to square root x plus 3 and square root x minus 1 is equal to square root x minus 2 plus 1 etc are the examples of radical equations or today's type of equation is of the following frame that inside the radical we have quadratic expression you can see inside the radical sign we have x square plus px plus m whereas in the another radical sign after the sign plus we have x square plus px plus n and the whole is equal to q in the previous lesson the value inside the radical was the linear factor now this is the quadratic expression frame exactly selecting the question on this type we are to solve its solution later we have question number 11 from the exercise 1.4 that says inside the square root we have x square plus 3x plus 9 plus again inside the square root we have x square plus 3x plus 4 which is equal to 5 you can observe that the shape and this kind both are exactly alike that is first two terms term containing x square and term containing x they are same in both the signs of radical then m and n they are showing some constant value q is also any constant number written on the right hand side hope you can understand the shape of the question starting our solution writing the same question in step number 1 and giving that this is our equation number 1 Uh, utilizing our first step that x square plus 3x we put this is equal to y when we put x square plus 3x is equal to y we reach the form inside the root y plus 9 plus inside the root y plus 4 is equal to 5 squaring on both sides we have left hand side whole square which is equal to right hand side whole square that is clear here in your picture now left side is of the frame a plus b whole square giving us a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equal to right hand side whole square that is it is written y plus 9 root whole square plus y plus 4 root whole square plus 2 into inside the root y plus 9 multiply by y plus 4 you may use one sim sim single of radical sign that is one simple square root sign So in the next step we have square and square root cancelled from the first term we are left y plus 9 same for the second term square and square root cancelled and we are left y plus 4 plus 2 into inside the root y plus 9 as well as y plus 4 inside the root they will be multiplied in the next step whereas on the right hand side 5 whole square is equal to 25 simplifying the left hand side values y plus y gives us 2y 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 2 into multiplying both these terms we obtain y square plus 9y plus 4y plus 36 inside the root is equal to 25 moreover shifting constant number 25 towards the left hand side we have 2y plus 13 minus 25 plus 2 into inside the root y square plus 13y plus 36 is equal to 0 in the next step we are left with 2y minus 12 plus 2 into inside the root y square plus 13y plus 36 is equal to 0 shifting the term containing radical sign on the right hand side keeping the other terms on the left hand side we are left with 2y minus 12 is equal to minus 2 into inside the root y square plus 13y plus 36 here squaring again both sides we have left hand side whole square is equal to right hand side whole square in the next step we have 
a square plus b square minus 2ab frame whereas on the right hand side square of minus 2 is 4 and the radical and square will go cancel we will be having only y square plus 0 13 y plus 36 so we have 2y whole square plus 12 whole square minus 2 into 2y into 12 which is equal to 4 into y square plus 13y plus 36. Simplifying in the next step we have 4y square plus 144 minus 48y is equal to multiplying with 4 on the terms right hand side 4y square plus 52y plus 144 is equal to 0 shifting all the terms of the right hand side on the left hand side we obtain 4y square plus 144 minus 48y minus 4y square minus 52y minus 144 is equal to 0 observe that 4y square and 4y square with sign minus both get cancelled likewise 144 with sign plus and 144 with sign minus goes cancelled you are left with minus 48y minus 52y that results in minus 100y which is equal to 0 dividing both sides by minus 100 we are left with y is equal to 0 over minus 100 dear students 0 divided by any number results in 0 so we got the value of y is equal to 0 now when y is equal to 0 then from number 2 x square plus 3x is equal to 0 very simple x is common among both taking x as common we are left x into x plus 3 is equal to 0 product of 2 is equal to 0 either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0 first one is equal to 0 gives us x is equal to 0 whereas the second one x plus 3 is equal to 0 gives us x is equal to minus 3 these are the two values obtained by solving the equation now we need to check whether these two values whether these two results whether these two roots satisfy the given equation or not for that we put the value one by one in given equation that is equation number one we put x is equal to zero in the original we wrote the original as it is in the next step here we put in place of x zero so we have inside the symbol of radical zero plus three into zero plus nine plus inside the symbol of radical 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 4 is equal to 5. Simplifying on the left hand side we are left square root 9 plus square root 4 is equal to 5. You all know a root of 9 is 3 whereas that of root of 4 is 2 so we have 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. In the next step we have 5 is equal to 5 which is true therefore x is equal to 0 is our solution for number 1. Now we check for the next value that is we put x is equal to minus 3 in number 1 writing number 1 as it is and in the next step in place of x we put x is equal to minus 3. By putting this we are left inside the symbol of square root minus 3 whole square plus 3 into minus 3 plus 9 plus inside the symbol of square root minus 3 whole square plus 3 into minus 3 plus 4 is equal to 5 simplification in the next step gives uh, inside the root 9 minus 9 plus 9 plus inside the root 9 minus 9 plus 4 which is equal to 5 1 9 plus and 1 9 minus among both the radicals will go cancelled we will be left with square root 9 plus square root 4 is equal to 5 that is a root of 9 is 3 whereas that of 4 is 2 so we have 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 that is we have 5 is equal to 5 it is again true therefore x is equal to minus 3 is also a solution for number 1 hence our solution set is 0 and minus 3 that makes the solution complete and no value is an extraneous root in this case hope you all understand thank you very much